Hi, this is Travis Saban, Product Manager for Adobe Analytics. And today we're going to be digging into the new rolling calculation feature in cohort tables in Analysis Workspace. So for the sake of this video, let's pretend that I work at a major international hotel chain and repeat and loyal customers are the lifeblood of my business as they drive the most revenue and bookings that I see across the board. But I want to understand who these people are and which of my customers are the most loyal uh, visitors here. So um, let's build a quick cohort just using visits and repeat visits as my metrics. And if I build this here without making any additional changes other than my granularity, I can quickly see how well my app is doing at keeping users uh, coming back and visiting over time. However, this current calculation, the default calculation, is a measure of individuals who have come after being in part of the inclusion criteria at any given period. So for example, these users here in week five may not have visited me during week four or week three, week two, or week one. They don't have to. As long as they are part of the inclusion, then they are eligible to be part of the week five grouping. But what I really want to know are the users who did come weeks one and week two, three, four, all the way through until week five. So in order to do this now, the rolling calculation setting makes this possible. So I come back to my build state, click on the rolling calculation option, and then I go and click build. Once this builds, now I can say I have a very different cohort table. And sadly, I don't have any users making it all the way to week five or week four. And I have one individual who has made it to week three. So this one individual is the only person who has come on week two and week one and was part of the original inclusion criteria. So the rolling calculation really helps me understand the stickiness and the repeat funnel aspects of my users for those who are continually coming back and meeting the criteria week after week or whatever time period you might be using. And so now I know out of the millions of customers who are eligible in my inclusion criteria, I've got these handful of thousand cohort users who are the most loyal ones that I'm seeing in this grouping. I can take these cohorts and I can turn them into segments to use them for retargeting or mobile engagement efforts to send perks, incentives, or things like that to make sure I keep my loyal users happy. And the rolling calculation setting is really, really good at identifying and helping me in this aspect to make it clear and easy who my most loyal users are. And I hope that this new setting is great for you in uncovering these similar insights for you and your business.